this is the defining challenge of not just our generation, but I think this century. The world is at a tipping point. We have to get the best and brightest minds to do something about this and very quickly. It's the first day of term and all 330 MBA students are gathering at Oxford Said Business School to learn more about this year's GoTo program. Thanks for showing up. Welcome to Hillary Term and welcome to GoTo. GoTo stands for Global Opportunities and Threats Oxford. Um, while it sort of masquerades as a course, it's really more than a course. It's a learning program that brings together our students here at the business school with faculty from across the university and practitioners from all around the world to come together to try to address big, complex, world-scale problems. This is kind of one of the main reasons of why I joined the business school, of like the fact that GoTo is such a large part of our curriculum and that it's probably something that I wouldn't have found in another business school. Coming to Oxford, GoTo is a uh... It's the climax because you know that Oxford is keen on sustainability and solving uh, big problems. This series will follow Oxford students through their go-to journeys. At the end of term, one team will claim the prestigious go-to trophy. Go-to was really the creation of our dean, Peter Tofano, and his vision for the school and what actually attracted me to the school a couple of years ago was really that a business has a responsibility to be a force for good in the world. Course leaders Peter and Aoife have chosen climate action as the theme for this year's programme. For me personally, it was the only theme we could choose for go to this year. Starting a new decade, 2020, we are on a path to um, not being able to meet a lot of the climate change targets and I think business has to step up and play a bigger role and we want our students to be part of that a bigger role for, for business. By the first coffee break, it's clear that this theme is already capturing the imagination of students. I find it exciting that it is a big topic. Uh, and actually today's lecture really galvanized me in terms of uh, the positive actions that are already happening. We get really emotional about the devastation that we're causing as humans on the environment. And this morning actually made me feel like I, I did have the power to do something. So it was invigorating in that respect. Students are placed into teams of six. After the first intensive week of go-to, each team must identify an issue related to climate action. They will then spend the rest of the term investigating how to tackle it. At the end, they will be given a presentation um, and submitting a report on their work. Um, here's the problem we chose, here's why it's important, here's how we approached it, um, and we've mapped our system, and here are the insights that we gleaned from that. And based on that analysis, here's our proposal for how we can really move the needle. I was very nervous or worried about uh, the enormous uh, nature of the theme, but after the session, I see now that uh, the solutions are definitely feasible. Every single student that goes through this program is going to come away from it armed with some skills, with some tools, and with some experience that I hope each and every single one of them takes into whatever roles they do after graduating. I think this is potentially the most important part of the MBX side in Oxford because this is where we step back from what people might traditionally consider business. It's very, very exciting for me because personally I am a career sustainability professional and it's really great to see a group of people who are smart and committed and, you know, as ready to go to, to come up with solutions. Uh, climate action is the new business frontier. It's the wild west out there, there's so much you can do and that's why it's, it's such a great challenge of tackling. This series will chart the progress of two teams of students through their entire go-to journey. Join us next time as they prepare to face the challenge.